Uh, today we're going to cook uh, turkey necks, one of my all-time favorites mm -hmm. and, and also one of the favorites of my dad. Mm -hmm. uh, we have turkey wings and turkey necks mm -hmm. and we're going to, we got them all ready, they're all washed off and clean and ready to go. So basically we're going to season them up. I like to use salt, pepper and garlic and go liberally with it uh, because some of these pieces of meat are thick so it takes a bit of seasoning for them to actually actually uh, get through and become nice and tasty. Okay, so this is part one. So we're going to put on some salt and lots of garlic. It's got to love garlic. Is that you know, granulated garlic or is, garlic salt? This is granulated powder. Powder. I already have salt, so I don't want to double my salt. Okay. I'm going to get too salty, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but this dish is a really a favorite of mine because it was something my father loved, you know? Uh, growing up in the Depression era, of course, there were a lot of things they couldn't afford. And, Turkey next is one of the things that my dad really And what's liked. that seasoning? This is black pepper. Okay. So we have salt, we have garlic powder, and black pepper. Okay. And next we're going to cut up an onion and bell pepper, uh, add some flavor to the dish. Okay. And uh, my father passed a few years ago, so every now and then when I think about it, I, I like to cook this particular dish because I don't know how much he liked it. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is there's so, there was so much in his repertoire as far as cooking was concerned that uh, you know, I could cook a lot of different things, but this is one of my favorites as well as one of his. So mm -hmm. I'm going to prepare that today for you. And uh, we can offer it up with some baked macaronis and cheese my way and some broccoli so we have some, some green and mm. little for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Like a good, good hearty dish. Mm -hmm. I like to put a rough cut on them anyway. I uh -huh. like to cut them in big pieces because since this dish is going to cook for about an hour and a half to two hours before it actually gets nice and tender, and then we're going to finish up and brown and make a nice sauce to go with it or gravy, as you say. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. That the, I like these pieces to be bigger pieces simply because they'll last long and they won't dissipate in there. Okay. And they'll get a lot of the end of the flavor. Oh, okay. 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 That's good we'll to know. We've got an onion. Next, we're going to do bell pepper. And how difficult or easy is it to find turkey necks and um, what's the other pieces you got in there? Turkey wings? necks and wings. Uh -huh. Actually, it's something you find year round in Louisiana. Okay. Uh, it's you know it's it's Louisiana type food. You know we, mm -hmm. we like comfort food here. So mm -hmm. since we like comfort food, you know we always have those type of things available. And because of, uh, there's a lot of poor folk here, you know, certain things that they can't afford. You can't afford turkey all the time, mm -hmm. but you can certainly afford to have turkey by way of some turkey necks and some turkey wings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and also you can find them like in five pieces as well, you know, almost year round. So makes it a little easier to do. Mm -hmm. You know, still enjoy a really tasty meal. You know, and then when you add the macaroni and cheese to it, and you get that gravy. Mm. Oh my goodness. Explosion of flavors, you know what I mean? So yeah. you, really, you really get off of that. I try to get most of the white off of the bell pepper because it's the bitter part. Mm -hmm. So I won't serve that up. Okay. And you're using green bell peppers. Do you ever use red or yellow for this dish? Not for this dish. And Not why is that? Dish. Well, different peppers have different flavors. Those mm -hmm. are a little sweeter, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, but personally, I've always used the green pepper. That's the way Dad made it, so that's the way I make it. You know. I don't change a lot in this dish uh, mm -hmm. because it's so good; it doesn't need any changing. You know, every time I serve it up, everybody likes it that way. But you know, if you want more color in your dish, you can add the red and yellow and green. And sometimes you can do the tree color. It's really up to the cook. Mm -hmm. you know, whoever's doing this is going to be able to use whatever they want. Uh -huh. I like the, the taste of the green pepper. And, uh, it's not so much that it stands out as something for color. Add something for flavor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay, so these are all ready to go. The last thing I do is put just a little bit of water in the bottom because I want them to steep a little bit. Mm -hmm. They almost have a steaming effect. So you put in, it's just not even to cover it, it's really just enough. No, to they don't cover the it. You just, you just want a little bit because you're going to get mm -hmm. some juice out of the meats anyway. Okay. That's going to happen. Okay. You know, it's almost going to be like, looks a, good. like smells a steaming good. effect. Uh, wait till it starts cooking. Okay, so we're going to cook this at a low temperature, like 250. 
Okay. And this will need a piece of foil to cover. And I'm just going to put this one in. And that's two fifty for about how long? Two fifty for about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once we do that, two fifty for about an hour and a half. Then we need to take it out, make sure it's nice and tender. If it isn't, we'll cook a little bit longer. But usually, at about two fifty for an hour and a half, two twenty-five, two fifty, we should be fine. Uh, then I'm going to make the gravy, and I'll show you how we do that. Okay. And Great. put the macaroni and cheese on somewhere around there. And get that going. It doesn't take that long to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll go from there, and we'll have a meal. All right. How's that? that sounds good. All right. Yeah. Okay, we're ready. All right. So turkey necks are on. They're cooking, and it's going to take a little while. So what we're going to do now is we're prepared to get the macaroni and cheese started. So got some boiling water here, gonna put a little bit of salt in there just to give the pasta some flavor. Mm -hmm. It's all about the flavor here. We also put a little bit of, of uh, olive oil in here. That's gonna keep the pasta from sticking. Okay? And so, in and stir it around a little bit. It will come back to a boil and between 8 and 10 minutes we'll have fresh pasta. Okay. I like to use peanut pasta with my big mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Uh, I kind of outgrew elbow macaroni. <laughs> so, <laughs> the little ones and the large ones but actually I, I prefer the taste of the peanut pasta is the real reason but you know. What's wrong with a little humor I could try? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to let that come to a boil, and it will. And in about 8 to 10 minutes, that'll be ready. We'll drain it. And uh, then we'll get some eggs and salt, pepper, cheese. And I'm using Kobe Jack cheese today because I like to add a little kick to it. Okay. And uh, we're going to layer it, and we're going to make some great mac and cheese to go with this turkey mix legs. Okay. Or turkey mix and wings, that is. Okay. okay. Got another pot here because we're going to do some broccoli because we have to have um, I have to have a veggie somewhere in there. Something green. Right on. Okay? Right on. All right. We've got our pasta cooked. And we've cooled it down considerably. Mm -hmm. So now we can get ready to make our macaroni and cheese. Our peanut pasta and cheese, should I say. Some water out of there. Okay. Put it there. And I want to layer it. So I've already put some of the Colby Jack cheese in it. Okay, and how much cheese all together are you? I use a cup. You can use more. It depends on how much you're going to make. I'm only going to make a small amount, so I'm going to use a cup of cheese. Okay, that that's a cup of cheese it. at the bottom or all, all I, together? I like it in the bottom. I like it in between. No, I'm saying a cup of cheese all just then total? A cup of cheese total on, okay. on this particular one. If I was making a bigger one, I'd use at least uh, two cups of cheese. Okay. And I've already grated it all up, so I want to, okay. want to make sure every bite's cheesy. So. I see you layer it. Yeah. yeah, I like to layer it. You know, make it nice and cheesy and tasty and satisfying. Today's food is, I guess, key word would be satisfying. You know, uh, comfort food, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's enough pasta. The last of cheese on here. And that is the, you said Colby Jack? Colby Jack cheese. Okay. It's a mix of Colby cheese, which has a little bit of peppery, has a little kick to it, a little heat, mm -hmm. and a mild cheddar mix. Okay. And it's all ready to go. Ah, butter. I'll put a pat of butter on top, so we'll some butter. Okay. Gee, Debbie, you know what? I'm so distracted by your beauty. I forgot to put my eggs in the pot. Oh, no. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I can still fix this. I'm going to pull most of the cheese off the top. Okay. So I have some to put on the top, okay? Okay. And I'll mix this up in the pot and put the eggs in. And my cheese will have a little bit of a different effect. I could probably uh, make a cheese sauce if I wanted to, but this is all the cheese I have in the house. Otherwise, I can make a bechamel. Uh, which is butter and flour and milk, and then you can melt the cheese into it. 
and then use it as a cheese sauce. So I'm a little late on that one since I don't have enough cheese in the house other than what I have here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this over here and put it in the pot. Okay. Fortunately, I still have my bottom layer of cheese. Mm -hmm. So that'll be helpful because some of this is going to come together. And that's not yeah, exactly. I'm glad you're showing this because this would have been the mistake that I would have made. So hey, I'm not going through a nice. bunch of mistakes every now and then, you know? <laughs> uh, but the good news is, you know, you can make up for some of mistakes. And I really need the eggs in there because they're going to give it some body. Mm -hmm. It'll just be dry pasta or something, right? Right. So. right. Three eggs in there now. Hands washed here. Okay. And I also want to add just a little bit of salt. Not much. Just a little bit. Bring the flavor out. And a little bit of pepper. Now I'm using black pepper, but if you have white pepper at home, you know, you might want to use that in a dish like this. That way it won't chill up. Mm -hmm. But you'll hardly notice it anyway, so mm -hmm. it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in cooking, we like to use a white pepper with, with a dish like this because it's not exactly to hide that it's there, but to um, so you won't see the little black specks, mm -hmm. you know. And white pepper will work just as fine. See, it's just turning up fine. Mix it up a little bit there. It already looks good. Okay, see there? It's all nice and coated, so it's going to be fine. Okay. Okay, back to our dish. Pour this in. So the cheese is, uh, didn't do what I thought it would do, so it's still pretty much everywhere, which is good. That's a good thing. Okay. Put the last of that there. Right. Voila. So, cover it with the last of the cheese. And we're all set. All okay. Right. Okay, now we're still waiting on, let's see, it's been about an hour since the turkey necks have been in. Really won't go to about an hour and a half, but just for the sake of checking, why don't we pull it out and see what it's doing. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, you can see it's not browning yet, mm -hmm. but it is cooking. Okay? okay. So we're going to put it back in. It's going to take a little while. I'm crank it up a little bit, 250. It was a 225 at first. I don't need to do anything to it, but get them nice and tender. Once I get them nice and tender, then we worry about getting them brown and making the sauce mm -hmm. and making this one tasty dish, okay? Okay. So, mac and cheese is ready, and when the time comes, we'll just add it in. Okay. Okay. Okay? All right. Cool. Okay, we're getting close to the point where I want to make my gravy. So I'm going to pour the liquid off of the turkey necks into a pot. And then I'm going to show you how to make my gravy because there's a couple of neat little tricks I can show you. I call them dirty tricks in cooking, but they, uh, they kind of make things better. Okay? Okay. So here we go. Oh, this kitchen smells so good. It's starting to smell. It's starting to smell like, uh, you know, okay. smell all those bell peppers and onions and all that seasoning. So you already got some in the pan. What's that? Oh, it's all the same. It's just a liquid. Liquid from, the other, from the other one? Liquid from the other pan. Okay. And I'm going to mix right. them both together. Okay. And this is what I'm going to make my gravy out of. See all the seasoning that's on the, in here, all the pepper, mm -hmm. and the onions, all the flavor. Mm -hmm. That's all in here. So I'm going to put it in here. Okay. And we're going to add some flour to it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of flour to it. And some kitchen bouquet. And it's going to make a nice, beautiful brown gravy. Right. Okay. Okay. So. Kitchen bouquet. I can't wait to see what that is. I'm waiting to. Okay, this is tender. Okay. Put them back in here. Still think they're another 30 away, something like that. Okay, so that back in there. Get this turned on. I need a whisk. So this is just standard uh, all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit in here. Put about a mm, 
tablespoon and a half. Okay. Let me mix that up. Doesn't look like a lot now. Much of anything other than more of a flour in it, but it's more than that. Then I'm going to add some browning seasoning. We call it a kitchen bouquet. Ah. Uh, instead of making a roux or something like that, which is not really the way you make a gravy, most chefs will use this. Mm -hmm. Just takes a little bit. And what is that exactly? It's a browning seasoning. Okay. Browning and, and uh, seasoning sauce. Okay. And can you get that just generally at the soup regular supermarket? You can supermarket? buy it at your regular supermarket. Mm -hmm. it's, it's there. Yeah. Okay. And it uh, helps to make this the sauce, give the sauce some color. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. So you're using about how much of that? Uh, so far we've used about two teaspoons. Okay. And we've got interesting color working there, so I think we'll be fine with that. Just going to make this cook a little bit. And what kind of flavor Second. does that have, the kitchen bouquet? Uh, it, is it, it smoke? Or? It's not a smoke. Uh, it, it, it's just because it's like a gravy. It's like mm -hmm. a basic brown gravy. Like a kind of a beef flavor? Well, mostly the flavor, like the beef flavor. Mm -hmm. But the, the truth of it is, the turkey necks, all that first liquid we started with, that's where most of our flavor is coming from. Oh, okay. This is basically used just to add color. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Instead of having the, the brown flour and, and, and water a bit, feel that? Ooh, the house is shaking. The house is shaking. Storm is coming, y'all. Storm Look is at that. here. Storm is here. Look at the wind. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's going down right? and slide out. It's happening. It's <laughs> happening. It's coming in. We're going to get some, some wind and a little bit of rain for a little bit. But well, instead of being outside in the wind and the rain, we're going to be in here where it's starting to smell like dinner. <laughs> and, uh, Eating comfort food. Eating comfort food. There you go. Okay, let's see. One of the easiest ways to know you've got a grave is if it coats the back of a spoon. Okay. So you can do that and it's not there yet. Okay. okay. And how do you get the, the um, I always had this problem with flour lumping mm -hmm. when I'm trying to, you know, make the well, gravy happen. You just keep whisking? Keep whisking and most of it will come out. Mm -hmm. You can always pour it through a colander. Mm -hmm. into into a pot mm -hmm. and get some of the lumps out like that but usually uh, if you stir it enough they'll come out okay yeah. the whisker will get out. I'm going to add some more because it's not as dark as I want not as thick as I want it to be yet so mm -hmm. Ooh, that should do it okay so about how much flowers that you you're that using. was about a good tablespoon or so so in total was that like two total tablespoons? we've got two tablespoons okay right two tablespoons of flour two teaspoons of, flour, of the uh, kitchen, bouquet, kitchen bouquet and the liquid that came off of the, mm. the turkey necks and turkey wings i'm going to let it rise up and cook a little bit Medium. Oh, it smells good, those turkey necks. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's in there, too. Mm-hmm. It smells it. <laughs> Yum. So that's a lot of food you're making there. How, how, who all is going to... Well, everybody You, the crabs, your mama. <laughs> everybody that's home today. If the weather holds, I'll get to bring some over to mom. Over mm -hmm. to Greenbrier. Get her some of this. She would love this as well. Okay, see how it's coating? That's what I mean. When you do that, see the back of the spoon is coating? Mm -hmm. That's how you, you know you have a sauce. Okay. This is basically a gravy, but it could be considered a sauce. Okay. Okay. So we know we got the right thickness. Now we just need to whisk it a little bit to get the less, rest of the less lumps out of it. And then it will be ready. And then actually pour it back in on the meat to cook mm -hmm. it with the meat off. Oh, this. okay. Yeah. Add some more flavor to it. Okay. Okay. You know, you're bringing this to a boil. Is that what the? No, I didn't bring it to a goal? boil. I uh, I just wanted it really hot at first. Uh, hopefully, to try to get rid of some of the lumps that mm -hmm. I want out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have to go to a boil, uh, but you do want it hot so everything will dissolve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't, I don't get all the lumps out, it's still going to go in the gravy and you won't notice there. Mm -hmm. 
once I put it in the meat, it, it, it won't be recognizable. But I do want to get as many of them out as I possibly can without having to strain this. Okay, so then this here and quick and some of this in here, right on top of the meat. We'll save a little for the other pot we have. Okay. The pan we have. So let me just let this work. Okay. It's hot work here. There's a the lightning. And the rain. We've got a storm to run. Okay, I'm gonna take the last of this pour in here. I think that's gonna be enough. Just enough, huh? Just enough. Okay. Cover that back up and just get it standing simmer. Maybe for another 30 minutes. Now for folks that out there that can't get kitchen bouquet, is there something else? Um, similar on the actually, market? Actually, I found it in almost every state I've been. Oh, yeah? It. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've never seen Coast, it. Okay. Uh, when I lived up there a while back. Um, that is a secret ingredient I've been missing secret, all these it's years. It's one of the easiest ways to make a gravy. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of buying it at the store, some people buy it at the store. I don't care for that. Uh, this is more natural, I think, especially mm -hmm. when you're adding in the liquids of whatever meat it is that you're cooking. Okay, how long you have avoided my clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. It's coming to you now. It's coming to you now. So, okay, and the last thing we'll have will be the broccoli. I've got some water in here. Okay. I'm going to get that to a little bit of a boil. We can cook it and reserve it, or we can wait because we still got to get the pasta done. So I'd rather have everything come together. The meat takes the longest. Then we get the pasta in with the meat once okay. it's cranked up to 350. Okay. And then we'll cook the pasta in the meat. Then we okay. can do the broccoli in just a matter of minutes. Great. On top of stuff. Great. Okay. So we're doing one pan now because things is, everything's pretty much cooked. And what I want to do oh is God, I want to so get the mac and cheese in in the oven. So mm -hmm. I'm making room at the same time. So that's what oh this is gosh, about. Oh my gosh, that looks okay. so good. That gravy is incredible. Yeah. It's been a little pretty for me, but I'll take it. Good. We got a good mix working. Yes. Put this in the oven. Okay. Oven's back up to 350 now. So okay. Oh, that means we can finish the and also put the mac and cheese in. But first, let's put some butter on top. Okay. So, how much butter you put in there? Oh, just a little bit. Maybe four or five pats. Okay. And what does that do? Brown it or? Yes. Help it brown a little bit and also has a little cream extra cream flavor. Okay. Got the room temperature soft. Okay. That'll do it. Okay, so now it is in. Straight in there. And how long does that take? About 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Should be done. Alrighty. So it's 205. We figure about 220. We should be done with that. The last thing to do would be the broccoli. Okay. And so heat the broccoli up here. Have some broccoli here. I'm going to cook it on top of the stove, basically because if I put it in the microwave and cook it, it takes away most of the nutrients that you really want. Right. It does have some cancer-fighting agents in it, so I want to keep those. So mm -hmm. I want to put it in the microwave and kill those. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just get some water. I got about oh, I don't know about. A uh, third of a cup of water. I'm going to get that hot and then put the broccoli in. Okay. A little salt and pepper. Let okay. it cook for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Take it out. Okay. Okay. Great. Cool. Okay. Now uh, almost everything is ready. The meat's almost ready. The mac and cheese is in the oven with it. It's smelling up the house with a wonderful aroma. Yes, it is. You got to have faint. something green, some type of roughage, and broccoli is yeah. one of the best things I think you can eat. Okay. So we're going to put this into a small amount of water. Basically, we're just going to let it cook for a few minutes. It doesn't take long. Add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. 
or even flavor, I was trained, no matter what it is you're cooking, put some type of seasoning on it so when it comes out it tastes like something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I agree with that 100% because in New Orleans we like spicy food. We like Creole food. We like Cajun food. We love food, but it's got to have some flavor or you eat it. <laughs> All right, the next man. <laughs> That's the next man eating. Okay, so this won't take but a few minutes. Okay. Meanwhile, back to form. I can put something out of the way, and we can get ready to take the um, take the meat out of here. And we can make the pasta stand just for another minute or so, but I know the meat should be ready. It's looking good. Sure is. Coming along, okay. almost there. I'm going to make sure the eggs are cooked so we leave them for just a few more minutes. And oh, a massive, a massive amount, enough to feed a small army. Oh, Turkey next to Man, that looks good. Looks good. Mm -hmm. And I have had okay, I think we're gonna be all Jeff right. Trepanion turkey necks before, I, I know. tender, okay. Everything's mm -hmm. ready. Okay, so we're done here. And, wow, what's left? Cook this in a plate. Eat. Bon appetit, mademoiselle. Okay. Right, just for a few more minutes. Okay, so we're ready to go with that. Uh, and everything got brown with the top on. How is that? No, it didn't. I, I took the you top took off. The, oh, okay. I didn't I even notice that. took the top off while you weren't looking. Just for a little okay, bit. Okay. Just to help to brown a little bit. And I will brown eventually with the top on. Uh -huh. But I like to, when I put the, the uh, gravy back in the, in the pot, mm -hmm. uh, in the pan that is, I decided to uh, take the top off for a okay, while. Okay. Okay. I, I didn't I didn't even notice that. So yeah, about it. how long uh, would you say you cook it with the top off? Uh, just about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. About 10 to okay. 15 minutes. The top off. Oh, you really don't have to. Great. This is just the way I cook. Yeah. And you can leave the top off. Because you want that brown on. It's going to brown eventually, but brown is always. It's a different flavor. It needs to be brown. It needs to be some color in there, you know. Yeah. I said, okay, Dad, no problem. But I can see these are seem to be tender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. You can't eat mm -hmm. this, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me try it. In a minute. Oh. Mm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you have to wait to take your mats for you. <laughs> I took mine already. <laughs> All right, mm. so it's very pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, that's okay. The gravy's gonna have a little extra flavor to it, so mm. it's gonna be good. Okay. All right. Broccoli looks about ready. Doesn't take long at all. Oh, that was fast. Turn it off because it's nice and crunchy. Okay. You know, when you cook things too much, it'll get to a dark green. Mm -hmm. And you cook all the vitamins out of it. It's like a good steak. You don't want to go past medium rare because you can cook all the vitamins out. I agree. You know, you have a nice juicy steak or beautiful broccoli. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, there's only one player that's missing here. So, we'll retrieve the last player. And that would be mac and cheese. Oh, look okay, that. looking good. Can we have enough now? Get some, get some of the heat. There's our meal. Well, that is picture perfect comfort food, New Orleans style. And it actually took us about three hours. I was hoping to get it quicker, but sometimes the next has to be cooked a little bit longer before it can get tender. Mm -hmm. And you don't completely finish them until they're nice and tender. Right. You know that way you know okay they're nice and tender. So all we need to do now is brown them a little bit for color, so they have a pretty color. And make the gravy and pour the gravy on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we're all set. Great. So, all right, we're gonna make a plate. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. She didn't make the plate. Dump it in my purse. <laughs> Big too. Next to that, it's your turkey neck. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
How's that look? Not food or too much? Mm, that looks amazing. Looks plenty. Looks incredible. We're going to put one more because this is, <laughs> this is to be camera ready. Okay, so we're all, we're all set here. All right. All right, here we go. So, hang on. And that, my friends? That, my friends, is a great turkey neck dinner. <laughs> Wonderful gravy. Oh, it smells so good. The macaroni and cheese are just the way you want them. They're nice and juicy. You can see the cheese is spread out. Everything's tasty. The broccoli's crunchy. The only thing I can say now is uh, bon appetit. <laughs> this is your Jeffrey oh, Trepanier. Yes. Jeff Trepan, that's right. And thanks for coming by. Deb. I really appreciated spending time with you today. Absolutely. I hope you've learned a little something and I hope you come back I again. I have. I'm going to try this myself at home now. I feel mm -hmm. a lot more capable Confident. of doing mm -hmm. it now that you can and yeah, if not just pick up the phone and I'll give you directions okay instructions <laughs> okay all right great. it's been fun